Thank you, buddy. Okay. We need to approve the application for the air show. And uh, Jim Hester here representing the air show committee. Anybody's got any questions about it? Now it's time to ask them. And uh, you know, it's a great event for the children and our and, uh, and our military veterans and all of our military. It's called Salute America. And uh, just a great event where everybody put all their nice opinions aside and enjoy a great day at the airport for these guys and throw the stocks off of you. So, anybody's got any questions for Jim? I think uh, I did know if Mr. Esther was going to give an update on it today, and if he was, I'd like to hear it. Right. So, who's the application to? The FAA or who? There are two applications that are done. One is the application to the airport authority for us to approve the event. And I emailed a copy of that, that application to everyone, so hopefully you all got that. It's an application to hold an event at the airport on May 9th and 10th. It gives some of the details of the event. Obviously, it's an air show, so it gives some of the details, uh, number of people they're expecting, number of uh, volunteers, and that type of information. Uh, once you have uh, approved that, then there is an application to the FAA, and uh, we will take care of that. It's, it's a, I think it's a 2450, if I'm not mistaken. It's a, it's a, about a two-page form. It's not uh, overly complicated, but uh, it's the same form that we've turned in for all the other air shows we've done at the camp. At the airport. So if the application is approved by the airport authority, does that mean that we're approving the uh, Proceed to air for the air show or what? It means we're approving the use of the facility. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah. Are, are, we, are, we, are we not going to have some kind of contentious, contentious like we did last time about the amount of sponsors and support financially? Uh, it's to make it, to be certain that we do that. We separated that last year. Yeah. We voted, you know, to make that an independent operation, and the airport authority actually doesn't have anything to do with it this year. Yeah, actually, the, the air show this year, the reason there's a permit this year, an event permit, is because they are a separate standalone entity. We didn't do a permit in the past because the airport authority was involved with putting on the air show. But this year, uh, or 2015, I guess, the airport authority is not involved. This is a private entity that has taken over uh, the complete operation of the, of the air show. So that's why you have a permit in front of you today for this event. So if they fall short on funding, who takes up the slack for that? They do. They do. All right, Jim, do you want to you want to briefly have any comments about the air show, or you want to bring up to me where you're at? Or, I mean, we're not interested in your entertainers, you know, and none of your entertainers, but uh, where are you at with it? Uh, well, uh, we're uh, awaiting uh, your approval of our application to have this air show. Um, First of all, thank you very much uh, for having me today. Uh, I think it's uh, very odd that the director and assistant director in Hong Kong today, I was in Marietta, so uh, I lost by default. So I apologize for uh, you not having someone higher up the food chain. Uh, we are moving along predicated upon your approval. Uh, it, uh, it stands to be a magnificent show. Uh, and um, I'd like to tell you all that uh, having attended the International Council of Air Shows uh, Convention in Las Vegas uh, not too long ago, uh, the people of uh, Dallas and Pauley County are highly respected. This air show is very well respected among the air show community. And I gotta tell you that uh, Brent Sparks, our director, is a rock star in, in that group and is, is revered as one of the leaders in, in this industry, and we're fortunate <clears throat> as a community to have him as our director. But it, it's shaping up to be a magnificent show. It will be a show for charity, and um, we uh, humbly ask that you uh, approve our request to uh, have that show on May 9th and 10th. I do have a question on the special event permit that we received. Um, I thought at one time we had jumpies or something when we were doing it at one time. Yes. So this year, because of carnivals or rides, there's not going to be anything like it because it's not actually on the permit this year. That's what I, that's one of the questions I have. We'll need to add that then because there will be jumpies. Okay, because 
that needs to be checked then. Yeah, you want to skew loyalty on these. I love that. <laughs> well, no, it's just something that when I was looking over exactly what we were what you were asking to do, and I know that they haven't before. I just yes. wanted to. If that was not marked, it was in error because there there will be jumpies. Okay. Do you think? I believe we we got it. Thank you so Thank much. You very much. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for your hard work you put in this thing too. And Sparky the reason he's so good because he was trained by Kerry and Dave over there. I mean, I free this is good. <laughs> but uh, it's a great event for the county and for the whole region. Uh, okay, I need a motion. You need a motion? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, Jim, you're good to go, buddy.